Hi, we're the Amazons, and this is our dream festival lineup, tour lineup. Okay, mine would be Joe Cocker mm. doing with a little help from my friends mm. over and over again. But he'd have to do it exactly the same as he did it at Woodstock, mm. it basically. Because um, I could watch that rendition of that forever. Uh, so, Joe Cocker, Woodstock, with a little help from my friends over and over again. So mine would, I don't know who would be headlining. I don't know who would be headlining, but I would pick, so in the eight, uh, in about uh, 85, 86, Bob Dylan and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers went on a tour of the of Australia, and maybe the US as well. But I, there's a, there's a kind of film on YouTube of Dylan being backed by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, and they do like the best rendition of knocking on heaven's door. So I'd have Dylan and Harp and Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers as like one band, and they could do Tom Petty and Dylan songs. Uh, Sly and the Family Stone at Woodstock. They uh, we were in a, a museum in Melbourne. And they had a Woodstock. No, it wasn't a Woodstock specifically. It was a. Uh, an exhibition uh, uh, called uh, Revolutions, Records and Rebels, I think. And uh, they had this whole section on Woodstock and Sly and the Family Stone like, really blew us away. Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. I would have Zeppelin, Song Remains the Same, uh, Madison Square Garden, period. That's four. You said five, I can have five. Probably have Joni Mitchell because there's a performance of hers or where she plays the Isle of Wight Festival in 1970, and it's just peak Joni Mitchell. It's amazing. She's got a real aura about her at that point. It's just the way she sings, the way she dresses, the way she, the songs that she was singing at the time. I'm gonna have the Who. Yes. Uh, mainly because I just would like to see them all smash up their instruments at the end of the show and also enjoy the music. And then I'd have Jerry Lee Lewis, um, mm. read his book, not his book, his autobiography, biography, biography uh, called Hellfire by Nick Torshes. Torshes? Torshes. Who Can died I... recently. Yeah, he did die recently, which is sad. I'm talking about. Um, the way he's described in that book of his live performances, and from what I've seen, you know, like the creaky footage I've seen, it's intensely raucous mm. um, and he well, he says he wants he's called the killer because he kills the audience <laughs> and I'd like to be killed by Jerry Lee Lewis I think I'd like the Beatles but just without all the screaming women <coughs> just the screaming men <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the screaming men I'll add one more before Elliot does I would have uh, Iggy Pop oh, yeah. but yeah. backed by the band that he did the post-pop depressions with Josh Homme, Matt Held is on drums, uh, Troy Van Leeuwen, and Matt Sweeney on bass because oh, really we good. saw them at the Royal Albert Hall and it's one, it's up there in my top three live gigs of all time. I'd like to see Dove Punk. That's the one That's tour good. that a live 2007, a live 2007, which well we were all around for but we didn't go to. Um, you actually got offered yeah. to go with me. Yeah, one of my friends at school offered me tickets, but I couldn't afford them. And it was also in Germany, and I was like 14, so... <laughs> Playing in two th uh, Life 2007 on top of the pyramid. Maybe the, guy, uh, maybe the Coachella performance, or the one in Paris. Either way. Um, and then Bruce Springsteen, mm. the street band. Mm. We, me and Matthew saw him in performing Wembley in, what was it, 2007? 16? 17? 17? Yep. 17. Say 17. And I think that was the f my favourite gig I've ever been to. Um, he played for four hours when he's 70 years old and he was just picking out, people holding out cards with the song names on, he was just picking them like this in the crowd and playing the tunes. Yeah. And it's like, it's truly, it's truly a, a wizard at his craft, man. And I don't think he'll ever lose it. And then, um, you know, I'm going to throw us a bone we can play too. Oh, We can open it. What a shit choice that was. <laughs> Um, um, uh, Fleetwood Mac as well. You had five. Yes, well, I'm talking for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Round rumours. Oh, no, actually, no, no, no. Afterwards, Tusk. 
on the Tusk tour, when they're all kind of coked up and hate each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.